So welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about factoring by grouping. Um, and this is uh, a process you want to use when you have four terms, okay? So you um, have four terms that you're dealing with and you're trying to get it into factored form. So here's an example of, uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, this, these four terms here are in expanded form. Okay, and then if I take that polynomial and get it into factored form, then it looks like this. Okay, but these mean the same thing. They're equivalent to each other. It's just they're in different forms. So what we're working on is um, how do you get um, your, your four-term polynomial into this factored form? So let's look at this problem that I was just highlighting here, and let's talk through how they got into factored form, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is you want to uh, put it into two groups and that's why it's called the grouping method, okay? And so I'm gonna think of that as in two groups and then I look for a GCF in the first group and my GCF for this first group will be nine X squared and then I'm gonna factor that out and I'm gonna have an X plus two Okay, and then I'll look for a GCF in the second group, which is going to be a negative 1. I'm going to factor that out, and I'm going to get an X plus 2. And with the grouping method, you need this binomial to repeat here. Okay, and once that binomial repeats, then that binomial is now the GCF that you can factor out. So I have two terms here, and they each have the X plus 2. So I can factor out the x plus 2 from the first term, which leaves me with a 9x squared. And I can factor out the x plus 2 from the second term, and that leaves me with a minus 1. And then what they've done here is they uh, factored this binomial. It's a difference of two squares. Um, and they factored that more. Okay, and so the x plus 2 just stays in the answer. And then remember how this pattern works. I've got a 3x being squared. And so that 3x is going to go in the front and the front. And I've got a 1 being squared. And so the 1's going to go in the back and the back. And then one of the binomials needs a plus and the other one needs a minus, okay? So this is factored form. So this is how that factored form was achieved in the example. And so once you have your polynomial factored form, it's going to allow you to do a lot of other things with it algebraically. So once again, this video is just a very quick review on grouping and how to get a four-term polynomial into factored form. So let's look at a couple more example, examples here. Um, once again, you want to think about it into two groups. And then I want to look at a GCF for each group. So for this first group, my GCF is x squared. I'm going to factor that out, which leaves me with a 3x minus 1. And the second group, I have a GCF of 2. I'm going to factor that out, which leaves me with a 3x minus 1. And once that you have that matching binomial, then that is a GCF that you can factor out of each term. And I'll have an x squared plus 2 remaining. And then this is, a, uh, this is fully factored. You cannot factor that more. That x squared plus 2 does not factor more like our previous example. This is as far as we can factor. All right, on this third example here, once again, we're going to look at it into two groups. Okay, and then I'm going to factor out the w squared, and I have a w minus 3. And then here I need to sort of think ahead that I need a w minus 3 once I factor out the GCF, right? I need those to match, right? I need these two binomials. To be the same. So I have to sort of think two steps ahead and then go back a step. So I need to factor out a negative 4 so that I will have a w minus 3 remaining once I factor out that negative 4. Okay, and then I can factor out the w minus 3 
which leaves me with a w squared minus 4. And then this uh, w squared minus 4 actually factors more. So we can continue. So I'm going to have my w minus 3 um, as my first factor. And then I have a w being squared. So that w is going to go in the front and the front. And then I have a 2 being squared. And that 2 is going to go in the back and the back. And then 1 has plus one has minus, and then we are fully factored. Okay, so just a, a note, if you cannot get the, the matching binomial like we've had in each of these examples, um, then it there's a good chance that that four-term polynomial cannot be written in factored form. So um, you can always try switching around some terms and trying to make different groups uh, to see if you can, you know, if you rearrange the terms, if you can uh, get the factoring to work, but not all four term polynomials factor. Okay, so I just gave you some examples here of some problems that do factor, uh, but just keep in mind that sometimes you'll have one that you just can't get into factored form using grouping. Okay, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.